Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of decomposing improper fractions. This is standard 4.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a model here that can be shaded. We've got these, those three right there, those three different fourths. We're trying to find different ways to represent seven fourths. So we've got this model that we can use and we've got these different number sentences here. So let's just see if we can take a look to see which of these work for us here. So I've got this first one, I've got two fourths plus two fourths plus three fourths. So we'll just do two fourths. So there's my two fourths. And there's my two fourths again. And then I've got my three fourths. And so if I'm wanting to count, does this make seven fourths? Well, that's pretty easy. Let's just count. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yes, I've got seven fourths right there. But we're also now looking at to see if the second part of it is going to work. And is the second part going to work? I've got a five fourths. So we've got to go all the way right here. There's my five fourths. And then I've got an extra two fourths. And if I add those up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, that works. So it looks like A could be our correct answer. We might have gotten it correct on the very first try. Let's double check our other solutions. So I've got a three fourths and four fourths. That looks like it's going to work because I know that three and four make seven. So let's get that right there. I've got three fourths four-fourths, yes, looking good. And so this next one I'm assuming is going to be incorrect because we think A is already the answer. I've got a one-fourth, I've got a four-fourths, and I've got a one-fourth. So that's one, one and four make five, and there we go. Look at that, one and four make five, and that one makes six. So that's my problem, that's only six fourths. So as we suspected, there's going to be something wrong with the second part of that. So B is out. Let's check C. I can already tell you, look at this first part of C. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. Yeah, one and one and one do not make seven. They only make three. So that is incorrect. Now, if we wanted to look at that second part, that second part, I think, is going to look pretty good because you've got three-fourths, and then you've got a full four-fourths, which is a full one. So you've got your three and your four. That makes seven. Yeah, so the second part does look good. So all we need to do now is just verify this last one right here. So I've got... 2 and 3 and 2. So I've got 2 fourths. I've got 3 fourths. And then I've got an extra 2 fourths right here. If we wanted to count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 2 and 3 make 5. Add the 2 makes 7. So that looks pretty good. So our issue is most likely going to be with that second part. And as we take a look at it, even without, we'll put it on here, but even without looking at it, look, you've started, you're starting with 7 fourths. That's what we're trying to get to. That's our goal. So the second you add something on top of it, you know it's not equal to 7 fourths. You can't add something to 7 fourths and have it be 7 fourths. So there's my 7 fourths. There's my 1 fourth. It doesn't work because that makes eight-fourths, and we're not looking for eight-fourths, we're looking for seven-fourths. So the only one that really works here is going to be A, because you've got two different ways to break it down. You've got two-fourths and two-fourths and three-fourths, and then you've got the five-fourths and two-fourths.